coming at you with music and fun. And if you're not careful, you may learn something before it's done. Too bad the gang doesn't get more points for bodies in the net. I mean, they probably set a world record, but if there's one thing that the gang has learned, it's never to turn down the advice of an expert, and I like that. And judging by the way that couple over there skates, I wouldn't be surprised to find out they know a little something about it. of the school hockey team. Hey, 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 Bob. Uh, hi, Fat Albert. It's my new girlfriend, Shauna. Pleased to meet you, Shauna. Is Bob teaching you to skate? I already know how. I'm a figure skater. Shauna's a finalist in the city championships. Maybe you two can give us a few pointers. Sure. What do you say, Bob? Uh, another time. I, I haven't been feeling too well lately. Are you sick, Bob? Yeah, well, sort of. We have an appointment for a checkup with the school doctor later. Why don't you come along? Uh, I don't know. You wouldn't want to miss the big game on Friday. Hey, it's time for Legal Eagle. Come on. All right. Let's go. How about it? Meet us at the nurse's office later. OK. Good. Welcome once again to Fine Pine Forest, home of everyone's favorite feathered lawbird, champion of justice, Legal Eagle! And the two naughtiest deputies this side of Swampville, Mo and G. 
Gabby. Oh, oh man, you see Gabby? Man, he did it again, didn't he? Well, Snapper, you were right. There is a leak in the dam. You're darn tootin'. Now, when are you going to have one of them no-account deputies of yours patch it up? Ah, uh, keep your shell on, Snapper. Well, you better fix it right away, Gabby. Like I always say, he who waits has too many cooks in the broth. Yeah, sure, sure, legal eagle, but Ma and me will get right on it. <laughs> hmm, and make sure you finish before I wake up from my nap. <laughs> Before they're loose, wild one of those. And if it wasn't for you two walnut brains, we wouldn't be in this mess in the first place. Hey, come on, relax there, Snapper. Things can always be worse. Oh. Uh, well, uh, well, we could be heading for a gigantic waterfall. There they are, and they're in trouble. Hey, legal, legal! Well, I take it you two didn't get around to fixing the dam. Of course they didn't. They were too busy goofing off. With these two good for nothings around, no one's safe. I demand a. Whoa, hold on, Snapper. Well, how about it? We were gonna fix that dam, uh, legal eagle. We just hadn't gotten round to it. If you ignore problems, they don't go away. Usually they get worse, just like that hole in the dam. Haven't I always told you that from little acorns, the heart grows fonder? Oh. Well, well, then let me put it this way. Since you weren't willing to make just a little effort to fix a small hole, you're going to have to make a large effort to rebuild the whole dam. What? The whole thing? Well, you better get started right away. Haste makes applesauce, you know. Well, Mo, things could always be worse. Well, don't you want to know how? Yeah! All right, let's get going. <clears throat> At least you two are getting what you deserve. <laughs> despite the death 
happy doings of his dizzy deputies, don't miss the next exciting episode of Legal Eagle! You know, problems are sort of like ants at a picnic. They don't go away by themselves. You take that hole in the dam where Gabby and Moe didn't fix it, it just got bigger. It's kind of like Fat Albert's friend, Bob, who has a problem with his health. He doesn't seem to want to deal with it anymore, and Gabby and Moe wanted to fix that hole. And if it's like most problems, ignoring it could be a big mistake. How big? Stick around, and chances are we'll find out. Okay, Donald, you're next. Hop up on the scale, please. Uh, I, I d didn't mean you could actually hop. Uh, 141. Uh, go ahead and hop up. I mean, step down. That takes care of Donald, Rudy, Albert, Bucky. Looks like we've got everyone. Oh, okay. We're finished with high blood pressure, height, and weight. So far, so good. All right, boys. Next, we're going to test your reflexes. If you would just cross one leg over the other. There, thank you, Albert. Your reflexes seem to be working. Pop's still not here yet. I wonder if he's gonna come. Uh, say ah. Oh! No, ah. Oh! <laughs> Dumb Donald, say oh! Ah! <laughs> okay, that's about it. You're all in good health, but while you're here, I want to talk to you about something you should start learning about at your age. Hi, Dr. Littman. Hello, Bob. You're a little late for a checkup today. But pull up a chair. You might be interested in what I have to tell the fellas. There are certain types of illnesses called sexually transmitted disease. They're called that because they are infections passed between people who have intercourse or intimate sexual contact. Huh? Intercourse? or intimate sexual contact. Those are pretty long words, aren't they? Yeah. Now, some of you are probably wondering just what do they mean? Know who you can ask? Right. You can ask some older person that you believe really knows about that you can trust. You ask your mom or your dad. Now, I have a feeling that Dr. Littman has more to say about these sexually transmitted diseases. If there are any other questions which you would like to ask, things you don't understand, you ask your parents, and if you don't have parents, then you ask the person who's looking after you about these questions, okay? Perhaps you've heard the name of some of these sexually transmitted diseases. Gonorrhea, syphilis, sometimes they're called venereal diseases or just VD. Anyway, many of these diseases that are passed through sexual contact can be simply treated with medicine. But you must see a doctor if you have one, otherwise you can get very sick. And if it turns out that you do have a venereal disease, you must tell anyone with whom you've had sexual contact. Because sometimes people can have these diseases without even knowing it. So if any of you ever have reason to think you might have a sexually transmitted disease, Please come and see me right away so we can check it out. Hey, Bob, did you tell Dr. Lippman you weren't feeling well? Look, Fat Albert, don't tell anyone, but I'm pretty sure I got one of those venereal diseases he was talking about. How long ago did you notice it? A few months. You heard the doctor. Venereal diseases can get real serious if you let them go. I'm afraid to tell. Afraid of what? You know, getting in trouble, people finding out, and how could I ever tell Shauna? <sighs> Maybe I'll get better. I don't think so. And what about Shauna? Maybe you caught it from her or gave it to her. Well, she doesn't seem sick. Maybe she doesn't have it. Well, you can't just hide things away. I mean, they'll catch up with you sooner or later, right? <laughs> like that. Uh, listen, uh, right now all I want to think about is the big hockey game on Friday. I'll see you, Fat Albert. 
Fred Albert's worried about Bob, and, and I don't blame him. Bob feels ashamed of the fact that he might have a sexually transmitted disease. He doesn't want to tell anyone, especially his girlfriend. But ignoring it just makes it worse. And when you do that, what starts out as a medical problem that's easily taken care of becomes a very serious one. When Bob has waited so long, he has no way of knowing how sick he may really be. I have a feeling he's not going to be up to par for the big game. I just hope his condition isn't a lot worse than he realizes. With one minute left in the final period, it's a high score. Hey, come on, Tim. Come on, Bob. Hey, man, you can do it. Come on, Tim. Yay, Bob. Come on, you can do it. Oh, we need a goal. Come on, Bob. Go, team! Dump Donald! You've been waving that pennant in my face all game! Sorry, Rudy! Go, team! <laughs> you said you was a straw! I'm worried about Bob, Fat Albert. He's been sick all week, and I've never seen him skate this badly before. Yeah, I know what you mean. They stole it from Bob. That's the final buzzer. The Icebreakers win two to one. I can't believe it. That's the first game we lost all season. There's something wrong with Bob. feeling today? Well, better. Dr. Littman gave me some medicine. It'll take a while to get well. He said it's a good thing they didn't find out about, uh, my, uh, condition any later. Find out about what? What do you have? Fat Albert, would you excuse us for a second? I have something I have to tell Shauna. Sure. Is he gonna be okay? He sure is. What's he got, anyway? I think that's his business. The important thing is that he's getting it treated. You really gave us a scare out there on the ice. Uh, I gave myself a scare, too. Uh, Shauna, this is the hardest thing I've ever had to tell anyone. What's wrong? Uh, I, I've got a, a disease. What kind of disease? A, a sexual disease. You mean, like, VD? Y y yes. I I I'm sorry I didn't tell you sooner, but... You were embarrassed. You shouldn't have been. Where are you going? To see the doctor? Good. And Bob, thank you for telling me. She's some skater. I bet she wins the finals tomorrow. Yep, but it was a close call. When I told her I had a sexually transmitted disease, she had a test. Turned out she had it too. Fortunately, she got hers treated before it got as bad as mine. I thought she was going to be mad and everything, but she was just glad she found out. I just wish I would have taken your advice sooner, then maybe I wouldn't have lost the big game. I think you won a game that was a lot bigger by taking care of your problem. Now, we're all glad Bob finally got the medical attention he needed, right? But would you do that, huh? Or would you be embarrassed by it? I mean, he cared enough about Shauna to tell her so she could see a doctor, too. And you're wondering how you can tell if you have a sexually transmitted disease? There's no easy answer because there are all sorts of different symptoms. But if you've had sexual contact and you notice something unusual about your body or that you're having discomfort when you're using the bathroom, you see the doctor. And don't worry about feeling embarrassment. It's a natural embarrassment. It will go away, but the venereal disease won't unless you do something about it, OK? OK. 
skiing, who thinks they can skate backwards? No problem for the king of the ice here. Yeah, with all the air coming out of your mouth, you couldn't help but skate backwards. Like I said, the king of the ice. Please. 